The voice of the people, the voice of God. The arrogance and supremacy of money has collapsed in the power of the people. Those who decided to go and share power with the outsiders to colonize our state, we have colonized them and Cross River have taken its position and have decided indeed that our state will be driven by the principle of justice, equity and faithful. May I especially recognize an outstanding professor, a pediologist, a deputy governor, a very good friend of mine, Professor Evara Esu, my very senior professor, who has shown up with me for the last eight years. Let me especially recognize the love of my life, a very beautiful girl that I know in her heart, innocence. The first man she ever knew in her life, and the only man, as I stand before you. I want to tell my kids that I'm very proud of their mother. I am. If there's one thing I will take back in my next life, is to go for my wife again. And again, and again, and again. When I get text messages and concerns from people asking, what, what am I going to take home? As you're living eight years after, my wife is worried about taking her husband home in good health. She's never asked me what she stands to gain. She's never turned to ask me what mother-in-law or father-in-law's God. And I say this with the fear of God. I love her. Yeah. My enemy is blocking me from my wife. Can you allow me for once? has class, has integrity, has knowledge, exposure, has everything you think you need to be a leader. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Cross civilians, ladies and gentlemen, I want to speak to you. Allow me to bore you. I need to bore you because we come from a long history. Cross River State is a state that has been reduced to one in body and in spirit. We have the lowest allocation in this country. We are not part of the 13% derivation. We are whipping child in NDDC. We have a very active youth force. But section 14, subsection 2 of our constitution provides that the welfare of your citizens is the primary purpose of government. When I was sworn in in 2015, I made a very clear elucidation that I shall not allow any child go to bed hungry on the basis of lack. I expanded government between beyond the current capacity of reason and it raised a lot of questions and askers as to the integrity, sincerity, and commitment of Ben Ayadi. But of course it was clear. How could a state that has the lowest allocation be the first and only state to have a tax, a tax exemption law to exempt people who earn 100,000 and below from paying tax? How could a state with the lowest allocation be the same state that don't hit the doors of everybody to ask for levy payment, sanitation payment? How could a state with the lowest allocation be the same state expanding government completely outside the boundaries of ethics and morality. But we did so because we know, for the first time, God is raising a child of the very poor and humble to bring him to this aristocracy of being a governor of Cross River State. You can't do the same thing all the same time and expect a change. So I came with a Kabbalistic densification to kinetically crystallize the state in order to bring you peace. And... Professor. The social oligomegaly that we face because over time, over time, power has become an aristocratic thing, limited to only those who have money, who have belonged to that connect team, and deconstructed those barriers, abused the boundary theory, 
and created an escape velocity for young people. Today, today we have senators who are at the age of 30. Today we have commissioners, we have people at national level and at state level who will never have imagined that they as children of nobody become somebody because Ayede who is a child of nobody has made them somebody. Is God not great? Is God not great? When I did over 20,000 appointments, I was told that I was going to be stoned in the streets of Calabar because I can't pay you. God made it magical. I paid you to the last day. Never in the history of Kosovo Nigeria has the governor paid salary to the last day, the month of May. And I do this not because I have enough, but because I care enough. Kosovoans, you must realize that this office is very troublous, nebulous, and very perilous. To be in this office, you have enemies whose only business is to demarcate you. I like Bishop, in my son have said, we are very quick at judgment. All I need to say is that Basel too have traveled abroad with 500 million, and your love starts dying. But this state doesn't even have the 500 million. Nobody but us to research. Today, we have come to the watershed of our life. The handkerchief law was applied for us to follow that generational Kenoski so that Basio too can do the finishing and polishing from where we did the raw foundation. Crossover State is at the end of a transformation. When I came in as a civil servant state, wholly dependent on federal allocation, and the allocation was dwindling, oil production was dropping from 2.4 million barrels per day to 1.3 and recently 800,000 barrels per day. And most of it for sold. It then means that if we depend wholly on just earning monies from uh, federal allocation, it will get to a point where absolute cataclysm will beset this state. And that's why we decided that we'll change and construct a new paradigm and focus on those things that will make a difference. I decided to put my hand on the paddle, my leg on the throttle, pushing it very, very, very hard to see that by the time I leave, I would have set a foundation for industrial transformation. And I did this even in the face of obvious impossibility. How could a state that earns 900 million a month with a salary of 3.6 billion be in a position with such big dreams? He wants to build superhighway. He wants to build a deep sea port. He wants to build a pharmaceutical factory, the garment factory, Kalachika, the Nodal factory. He wants to build an university, Flying Kali Air. And this is endless. Definitely, your day is not serious. That's the beauty. If it is not impossible, it doesn't excite Ayade. <laughs> I speak from my heart, from my motor, paperless, because it's in my soul. Wow. Yes. I love Prosiva. You gave me an opportunity as a senator and as a governor. All I owe you is my life, my very last breath, to serve you. And that's why when it was easier for me to stay in PDP and accept the situational community that had challenged the freedom of our people, I decided to take the rough path. Changing from PDP to APC in less than two years to a general election and deliver Basio 2. Wow. Wow. You will never know it. We have fine gentlemen like Senator Geshe and Basio with us who saw the truth, stood firm for the issue of power must go back to the south. And when it was impossible in his side, he did what is fair. I want to congratulate the Ijagan nation. The Ijagan people who rose beyond ethnic divides and stood on the path of justice and said power indeed must go to the south. Don't forget, at the heat of this politics, there was no candidate from the south, whether it's APC or PDP, until Ayane came and said, back to south. History will be fair to me. History will be fair to me because we laid a foundation. But let me tell you the beauty. Did you listen to the amount and class of quality of people who have come here to witness this inauguration? That's what two is already working. We have NDB here. We have big oil tank investors here. He's prepared. I made the right choice. You join me as we work together to celebrate a great man, a man of vision and character, a man who knows clearly that the foundation has been built, but he's consistent. This indeed is not a transition, but it's a continuation. Because the focus is clear. 
and nations will come. But I can tell you, it's too deep. I would have chosen one of my young commissioners as a governor. But I choose a man who is my friend and colleague that I cannot pocket. I choose a man I know has a good heart. He has a spirit that I've shown that when he had opportunity, he was nice to his people. I didn't choose somebody. We did come together as a leadership of the APC to come up with a candidate who will fall to the dictate of me as an Afghan governor. I understand the power. For seven years as governor of Crossroads State, I paid respect to a man who played a major role in my becoming governor. And it will be unfair if I don't acknowledge Senator Lee anymore. Yes. If it's not Senator Lee Limoke, I might not be standing here today as governor. And that's why he can never hurt me. No matter what he does, I don't take it off. Because I recognize the good part of him. And I want us to have this spirit. Nobody, no system is idiot proof. But you must focus on the good side of people. We have a government in Cross the State. Our people of Makasi have been seriously tortured by this government. In spite of the provision of section 12 of our constitution, Bakasi was seated without a plebiscite, without a referendum. Bakasi was seated without the respect for the Green Tree Agreement. Bakasi people live as slaves and as refugees in their own homeland. We cry out with righteous anger to government and say this is unfair. And that is why Part of our calculation and consideration is to put the deep support for Crossroads and, and Bakasi as a way of assuaging our people. Prince Basio, too, part of our discussion was your commitment to the Bakasi deep support. We have finished all the institutional works and research. We have finished the studies and we've gotten all the approvals. The lucky deep support that we are celebrating today started 20 years ago. So the journey to construct a new crossing to provide a prosperity superhighway, to create an agenda of hope for the young generation. It cannot start when I come and I'm just part of planting trees, fixing potholes, doing carnival and dancing. I already decided to take the big impossible task. That is why they call me Jayanta Makoko. <laughs> The giant is the mind power, the capacity to think beyond reason. It is because people do not understand that the real lowest allocation, be they want to do a 23 megawatts power plant, 27 megawatts power plant, dualization of Calabar or Dupani, construction of East West Road Boki, doing the canalization of most of our extremely challenged waterways fixing issues as complex as salaries, consistency and persistency in a payment of pension. Huh. Where is the money coming from? I again indeed must be a magician. I again must be. So when I listen to my wife and she tells me so much about what public opinion is, we use it for the apostrophication and recalibration of our thought concept. Let me conclude by saying this. Please, Whatever love you have shown for me, please give to Senator Basio too, a thousandfold. Wherever I have failed, please pray for him to do much better. Where I have succeeded, let him do much more. If I'm a shining star, let him be a super shining star. Give him all the prayers and blessings. Pray for him, wish him good life, wish him good health. I want to thank God. I came here very strong and healthy. I'm really strong and healthy. No sickness, no headache. I lived in government house where they say nobody can live. I lived there for eight years. Finally, let me thank God Almighty, who has made it possible for us to have this beautiful weather. Of course, the Babala Wolves, who said it is them that held the water. It is not them, oh. Basil too is coming to the throne. God has taken over. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Thank you. A validatory speech indeed. Thank you.